Hello there booktube, how are you doing? Um, I thought I'd do the uh, Thursday Poetry Challenge again. Um, yeah, just as an excuse to read more poetry on the channel. Um, and I think I kind of dropped the bat last week with the poems. Um, so I thought I'd uh, try and get back on track uh, with reading poetry on my channel. Um, and today I'm going to just quickly read uh, a, William Carlos, <laughs> a William Carlos Williams uh, poem uh, called Young Sycamore. Um, yeah, William Carlos Williams is a poet that I don't always uh, get on with. I suppose I find it difficult to see the significance of, of some of his poems, but there are a few that I really enjoy, um, and this is one of them. Um, and yeah, it's called Young Sycamore, um, and I'll just read it and then say why I like it. So, Young Sycamore. I must tell you, this young tree whose round and firm trunk between the wet pavement and the gutter where the water is trickling rises bodily into the air with one undulant thrust half its height and then dividing and waning sending out young branches on all sides hung with cocoons it thins till nothing is left of it but two eccentric knotted twigs bending forward horn like at the top um, and one of the things I just love about this poem is its movement uh, and it's you know sort of it starts at the very uh, base of the tree um, and with the, uh, the, the the rain water in the gutter um, the, the, um, yeah, it's just kind of you know, moving around underneath it, and then almost like a um, a camera shot, like a very you know, very cinematic almost. You know, it starts at the bottom and just moves up, um, and I suppose just the the specificity um, of of this poem, of of the way in which maybe the tree's trunk is only half its height and then it divides into all these all these branches even though it's a very simple thing um, and, and and yeah that's that's really uh, uh, yeah just what I love about it this simplicity uh, but at the same time it's incredibly specific uh, but also really urgent at the same time it has this I must tell you right at the beginning almost as if uh, maybe you're in a coffee shop or something and he's just run in it's like I've just seen this tree and it's you know almost like some kind of gossip almost um, and then, as well, I like the fact that this isn't necessarily a very romantic um, poem about nature. Um, it's 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 really quite anti-romantic. It's you know it's not in some kind of lovely pastoral setting. But this is a this is a tree just growing out of the pavement uh, with rainwater all around it, and it's part of. You know that these people's everyday life is something that you, you just walk past. Um, there's, you know, there's nothing particularly special about it, and yet at that, at that very moment, with the rainwater, you know, flowing past it, um, it the poet sees it from a specific angle, um, and just on that day at that time, it just seems special, um, and you know, it's it's like that moment when. You, you know, you see something you've seen a hundred times before and for some reason on that day, at that time you just see it in a new light and then suddenly it's the, like the most amazing thing ever um, and, and the way he kind of gets that feeling across in that poem really uh, appeals to me um, and I find really, really satisfying and just, just really nice um, so yeah, I thought I'd share that with you uh, this time uh, and I will be back with other videos, more poems uh, and such um, at some other time. <laughs> um, thanks for, for, yeah, for, for tuning in and uh, see you later. Bye bye.